So we've been through already so many different terrains, which must be like really, really difficult for the bike. But it's going to be even more difficult on the man. It, it must be very taxing on his body. Of course, he doesn't um, show so much of it because he doesn't want us to get wor be worried. But we see him in a lot of pain. Sometimes he has to stand up and ride the bike just kind of to give a break to his knees. The wind, the cold, the challenges are there every day, every day for Sadhguru. It's literally death and life situation. Being on the bike, wrestling with the wind yesterday, reaching Sofia, the winds were really crazy. And the amount of effort it took just to keep the bike balanced and on the road. It's been snowing this morning and Sadhguru rode the bike uh, in the snow, uh, tires worn out. I think we were driving from Switzerland into Paris and there was like 40 mile an hour gusts of wind. Uh, the rain was blowing in sideways. Uh, the visibility was down to, to 15, 20 meters. You know, we had our hazard lights on, we'd really slowed down. And I could see Sadhguru and his windscreen is here for the bike, but he was ducking underneath it to try and avoid the wind. And it's the only time I'd ever seen him in such a vulnerable state. And it, it was very, very hard to see. And it's amazing for me how he's putting his life on the line to, to do this. He's really not doing this for himself. He, he's doing it for us, for, for what we need, for the future generations. It's just incredible seeing Sadhguru going every day through so much of struggle, but it just feels like, you know, he, he's just so energetic. He beats all of us, you know? <laughs> it's such a wonderful experience and it's like sadhana and at the same time, a privilege, a joy and an honor. Oh!